Well, hello there. In this video, you'll see what it's like in... That's right, Fairmoons Mahika. This video will also show you what it's like to stay in the old cabins here. This is Famine Smutka National Park. I'm gonna hike here for five days. I have mapped out a route that will take me by multiple open cabins that are state owned, free to use. There's about 20 in the area. I will uh, stop by close to 13 and uh, we'll see what it's like. The history behind these, some were used by lumberjacks, some by fishermen, hunters, and so on. Uh, a lot of them are more than a hundred years old. So I'm uh, looking forward to this. We'll see how it goes. I'm getting closer to the first one now. There's a reindeer ahead. Sunshine and reindeer. Good way to start the trek, huh? Getting closer to the second cabin now. There is actually only two kilometers between these two. Not planning on staying here, but I want to check it out. The weather is good today and tomorrow, so I want to cover some ground. And uh, we'll see how that goes. If uh, the next one up is occupied, I'll use my tent. was 21 kilos when I started so that's slightly less than 50 pounds a lot of that is food I've got a lot of dried food with me but I'm eating the heavy stuff first I've got some some bread here with some Norwegian goat cheese on it I've got half a kilo of chicken a pound of chicken for tonight that bird is not a fan of me huh up here. I uh, ran into a couple of them who were pitching their tent. They had an encounter with a bear. It was 10 meters away from them. That is pretty cool. Something I want to. I am uh, getting closer to my uh, cabin and uh, hopefully there's nobody there. It's been a long day. Sometimes people ask me what I eat when I'm out trekking. I usually use a lot of dried stuff because it doesn't weigh much. But for the first night, I tend to treat myself. I got half a kilo of chicken, got noodles, and a shitload of pesto. 
Smells like dog in the first cabin, so I'm gonna relocate to this one. It's been a long day. Did about six and a half hours, close to 20 kilometers, I guess. And uh, the weather's been good. Should be fine for most of tomorrow, too. The mosquitoes are really having a feast here. Gotta cover up more. That was probably enough Wi-Fi time. Check the weather, check the soccer assaults, and so on. Heading back to the cabin. Early morning. Weather is good so far. I uh, have four cabins that I'm passing by today. The first one is not far away and it's not next to the trail, so I'm not going to head over there. Then I'm passing by one. Then I'm crossing into Sweden, but it smells there, so I won't stay long. When I get back into Norway, I've got another cabin. That's after 18 kilometers. And then two more K, got a fourth one. Hopefully one of those is available. Fun, fun, huh? No, 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 it's not cold to be in the river, not at all. Time for some lunch. I've got um, tortillas. I dip it in uh, chocolate spread. I have marzipan, full of sugar, a lot of energy there. And some chocolate. Then I'll be on my way. Some people might find it strange that I eat tortillas. Uh, well, basically, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Uh, they don't spoil at all, like bread and it's quite easy. So I basically just enjoy it and dip. That's how you do it. Dip it, boy, come on. Yeah. Mmm, get some more. Mm. This cabin was built in 1918. The man who built it was a hunter. In 1946, he brought down his moose number 87. My dad's also a moose hunter. He has brought down around 60. This cabin has also been used by people who do fishing and people who gather berries. I've seen a fair amount of cloud berries around. Might show them to you later. Got some blueberries here. And some crowberries here as well. And I know you've been waiting for it. These are the cloud berries I promised you. They're not ripe yet, though. So I have about two hours in Sweden. I want to make the most of my visit by giving the Swedes a little present. It's quiet here. I'm seeing three reindeer. And there's definitely a lot of moose in the area. I've seen a lot of scat around here. Cloudberry. 
berries. Gotta love it. Yeah. Southern man, better keep your head. Don't forget what your good book says. I'm about to cross into Norway again. I was using my compass going south. Now I'm back on the trail. I have hiked for almost nine hours today. Probably done about 20K like yesterday. Looking forward to getting to the cabin. Hopefully there's nobody there. Enjoying some hot chocolate, boiling water for my soup, which will be my starter. Got a fire going, and the cabin. It's a beautiful spot. I'm poking around in camp. We got a funny guy over here. Normally this fence would go along the border, but there's a bunch of lakes in the area, so this is actually on the Norwegian side. But it also keeps the reindeers where they want to keep them. The terrain is kind of rough around here, a lot of rocks. Today I'm potentially passing by four cabins. First one is coming up very soon. I probably have a lot of hiking off trail, so I might skip a few of the cabins. Hoping to stay at the fourth one. We'll see. It started raining quite a bit, so I'm going to hang around here for a while. beautiful in this area, but a lot of mosquitoes. It would be better to cover up, but it's kind of warm, so I don't want to wear a jacket now. In a couple of hours, I should reach the cabin. Or actually, it's called Gamma, which is a different structure. Should be interesting to see. Thank you. 
that was an eight and a half hour day, I might have done something like 18K, I'm not too sure. This is the nicest of all the places I've been to so far. I really like this place. Day four, early morning. In the last shot, you saw some reindeer that passed by at 4 a.m. This will be the last day. I have uh, covered a lot of ground so far, so I'm completing my uh, route in four days instead of the intended five. I will do 20K or maybe more, a lot of it off trail, so it should be a hard day. So far, I've been lucky with the weather. It's sunny now, but according to the forecast, it's going to rain today. It doesn't look like it though, but it might change, you never know. My trek in Femmensmutka is almost at an end. I've checked out eight different open cabins. I've seen a lot of wildlife, not a whole lot of people, beautiful nature. Today I've hiked for roughly six hours and uh, done a bit more than 20k, I guess. Been going quite fast. During four days I've done roughly 80 kilometers. It's been 28 years since last time I was in Femmins Monica. I've enjoyed it. I've decided it's not going to be 28 more years before I come back.